Hey everyone, uh, how's it going? I haven't made any motorcycle videos in a while and that's because I, I sold my Ninja 250 um, So this video right here is actually in a motorcycle but it's actually I'm in a motor taxi uh, It's a motorcycle taxi, I'm actually down in the Amazon jungle <laughs> I came here for vacation um, so I figured I'd record little motorcycle video here um, and, and catching up on things also I, I sold my Ninja 250 uh, right at the end of 2013 uh, I'm planning to go back and get a Ninja 650 perhaps um, or maybe a Ninja 300 if, if I find a used one because I, I want to buy a used one just because you know the price is always better on a used motorcycle than a new one I don't think it would be worth it to buy a brand new Ninja 300, but if I could find a used 300, even though they're kind of new, I'll definitely buy that. Um, so anyway, uh, right at the end of 2013, my last video that I did was uh, on a book, a book called uh, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, and I did part one, uh, which you can see, I'll put a link right there, and you can watch my review of part one, but now I, I, I did well, go ahead and finish the book, so I want to do a review of part two of that book um, so part two is, is kind of similar to part one talks about a lot of the same things but you know I guess it goes a little more into the actual uh, motorcycle maintenance aspect of it um, so uh, so he talks about how you have to have the right mindset and um, when you uh, like when you look at something like uh, I, we, we, that a lot of the reasons you don't do um, maintenance is because of fear and you fear that you know you're gonna get to a point where you're gonna get stuck and that fear he says it, it doesn't it's not really uh, the way you get through it is that you 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 basically when you get to it you have to think of it as an opportunity because you uh, you you now get to find how you open take off this one uh, bolt or whatever that's that you don't have the tool or whatever so you actually learn how to do it and if there's some type of complication that you can't do it in the ways that are already out there he says you will always find a way to do it and then if nobody's figured it out yet then you'll be the one that discovers it and you can even make you know uh, make an invention out of it so you always have to think about the good things that are gonna come about you know uh, these challenges that you face when fixing your motorcycle and he says uh, another thing is you just that reason that you don't people don't want to do their maintenance on their motorcycle is that um, they're basically uh, also sometimes scared that you'll you know take it apart do what you need to do put it back together and then forget that you forgot another little part and that which means you gotta reopen it because you forgot to put one bolt or something like you got an extra pieces left after you've put it back together but he says that's good too because now you have experience of uh, putting it you know doing it twice so now you're not an amateur anymore now you've done it twice and you've done it right you know and now you, now everything becomes much easier and if you ever you know repair something and then redid it you, re you realize that the second time is much faster and anyway, and he goes through other solutions of what he calls gumption traps, which gumption means um, basically like enthusiasm traps, things that trap your enthusiasm from uh, of of accomplishing your task, you know, your task of motorcycle maintenance. Um, so I would really recommend that book. Um, it uh, definitely helped me think of a different way of fixing my motorcycle, but you know obviously it's not just for motorcycles it's also about fixing just anything in your life and uh, any mechanical uh, stuff that, that, that you need to get fixed um, so anyway uh, I'm gonna leave you here um, hopefully I'll be making some more videos when I get back to uh, Jersey hopefully on a new motorcycle so from, for now is me here in the on the motor taxi in Peru it's actually a very very nice view out here <laughs> it's kind of fun to travel in these things um, but anyway take care guys